Hi, my name is Sam and this is an Amira 6.0 tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will go over the very basics of Amira. So the first thing I want to show you how to do is the start menu. So this allows you to create new projects, open recent projects, and open data. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to open data. So we can go to tutorials and then we're going to open the chocolate bar AM file right there like this so this is a data file so there are a few things you can do to just get a basic visualization of your data so you can click on volume rendering to see it in the data in 3d you can also use ortho slices which is a slice inside a slice on a slice of your data so you can choose X, Y, Z, it will, and it will just change right there. You can also change it to alpha to make the outside transparent, like much like a volume rendering. The other thing you can do with volume rendering, which is really fun and helpful, or ortho slices, you can go and cut stuff. Like, we can also turn this off and just get the sliced chocolate bar. The next thing you can also do is called an ortho slice. Sorry, it's called an isosurface. So an isosurface, if you're familiar with 3D modeling, we use a lot of STL files, so an isosurface is like making an STL file out of this. So what it is, it's a bunch of triangles and it's a triangular mesh this is the inside of it you can change the draw style from outlined to shaded which is the default you can also call different parts of it you can call the back face or the front face like that the back face would call what call what's behind the camera which you can't see right now but the front face would call what you can see like this. So we can see the inside. If you want to downsample it, if your computer isn't power buff, you can go right here and just click apply. All right. So the next thing I'm going to go over is just how to bring up another more objects that aren't just right there. So if you right click on this, it allows you to go into different things and to see different ones. So we're going to go to display and we're going to go to ortho standard view, which will give you three different ortho slices of the same thing. If we add a volume rendering, we can also we can see it like this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go, I want to show you what each of these things do. So you can choose how many views there are. One, two, three. Full screen mode. Sorry, I have two monitors. You can exit full screen by right clicking and this goes up. So let's head to back to one and let's just do a volume rendering. So you can change it, the headlight to be on or off and that adds just shadows to the build. You can also change the preferences to show the compass. I prefer the compass, it's very nice. It shows you where I'm looking. There's also many home functions like this, X, Y, X, Z, Y, Z. You can also zoom in on a particular part by going like this. By ro you can rotate it like this. You 
can zoom in by using the mouse wheel and use this to rotate. You can use this to select different parts. You can let go this to go back to home. This allows you to set the home. Okay, there's also this. So if you want to use stereo 3D, you can also use the 2D measurement tool right there. You can also use this to take a snapshot and have it go to clipboard. You can change how powerful the snapshot is or what the resolution is by typing in new values here. So, I think that will be all for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back soon with another mirror tutorial. Like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Subscribe if you want to hear more, hear when the next mirror tutorial comes out. Thanks so much for watching.